Hey guys, welcome. Thank you for coming back. If it's your first time, thank you for watching my video. I'm April, I'm a cosmetic chemist. Today I'm going to be talking about three brands that you guys love. The three brands are The Ordinary, I'm sure you guessed, The Inky List, and Naturium. She's been a friend of me for a while, so we're going to keep talking about her until she changes her ways, right? <laughs> We're going to be comparing four things. We're going to be talking about their cleansers, their retinols, their niacinamide, and their hyaluronic acid. So we're going to talk about four products from these three brands. We're going to be comparing, contrasting, seeing which one is worth your money. Okay, girl? Because we're not about wasting this corona, COVID-19 money that we don't have. So I'm going to get y'all situated okay so really quickly price point i don't want to mention price too much throughout this video because i don't want it to get distracting and make this video just distracting overall if you want like cheapity cheap like all of us really <laughs> if you want like very affordable the ordinary is your girl if you want medium but still getting your money's worth the inculus is your girl but if you got that monday honey if you got that Whoa, whoa. If you're Nigerian, you know what that means. Then Naturium is your girl. So, anyways, that's it for pricing. I might mention pricing here and there, but it just wouldn't be like a you know heavy element in this video because I really want you guys to understand the ingredients, what they're doing, and how they work. So, starting with cleanser, starting with the Inculus. So, the Inculus has this double cleanser, oil and water cleanser. And usually, you do like an oil cleanse and then do like a water cleanse, but they have both of them in one. And the way it works is it has sweet almond oil, which normally would be great but if you have oily skin and sensitive skin or acne prone skin this is not your best friend while almond oil is not as clogging as coconut oil is it can be clogging if you have acne prone skin so do not get this if you have sensitive skin or acne prone skin they also have a salicylic acid cleanser which might be more suitable for your skin and they also have an oat balm cleanser which could be great for either or skin type so those are the three that they have now moving on to the ordinary the ordinary has a squalling cleanser you guys know i love squalling it's great for eliminating scars, reducing wrinkles. It has great antioxidant properties. Squalene is just an amazing, amazing ingredient. So they do have that as their cleanser. And this should work for any skin type, really. Now on to Naturium. Naturium, you guys, we already talked about their cleanser. It's pretty basic in my opinion. They do have that phenoxyethanol that could be irritating to your skin. So if that's something that you're worried about, definitely remember that this one does have phenoxyethanol. I think all of them actually are, except for the Inculus, I believe Naturium and Ordinary both both use phenoxyethanol as their preservative so just be wary about that. I'm moving on to niacinamide. Now niacinamide is just an amazing amazing did i say amazing already it's been around since 05 but it's now for whatever reason this recent time has been more popular and it's just a great ingredient because normally ingredients like tretinoin and hydroquinone those ingredients stop the production of melanin from the melanocytes but what niacinamide does is it uses a different pathway it actually stops the transfer of tyroxin from the melanocytes to the keratinocytes which keratinocytes pretty much are closer to the epidermis of your skin is where the melanin will be deposited closer to the surface of your skin. I know that might be confusing, but just know that niacinamide works in a different pathway to help reduce the production of melanin, thereby even our skin tones, reducing wrinkles, reducing redness, and just gives you an amazing, beautiful, beautiful physical appearance of your skin. Inculus definitely takes the cake for this one. They have this root radish ferment in theirs. They also have soybean. Root radish is great for reducing redness. So if you have rosacea, eczema, this would be really great for your skin. It also has soybean. Soybean is an unsaturated fatty acid omega-3s. It'll help just moisturize your skin and give you just great suppleness in your skin. So the Inculus is just the best out of these three categories. Moving on to the Ordinary, they have niacinamide 10% and zinc 1%. Like I said, niacinamide works great just at 2 to 5%. It's an okay niacinamide. And then Naturium, Naturium has that popular 12%, zinc 2%. Again, an okay product. Like I said, Inculus definitely, definitely is the winner in this case. Moving on to their retinols. Retinol, we love retinol. I love retinol. I currently am using two different types of retinol. Actually, I'm using the points you Five, and I'm also using the point zero two five. I mix both of them together because I just need more and more retinol. I need my skin really just evened out. That's just my problem area. But anyways, enough about me. Retinol, as we all know, is amazing and it's just great to have in your routine, especially at nighttime, which is when it works best. It tends to work better if you combine it with a hydroquinone, and that's what I'm actually currently using. It's, it's being prescribed by my dermatologist. Moving into the brands, Inkley's has the stabilized retinol, one percent, and they also have the. Gray active retinol. Gran active retinol is pretty much an ester. 
I don't want to confuse you guys and make you guys not understand, but just know that it's something that's really similar to retinol. That it's pretty much like a brother to retinol that binds to those retinol receptors inside the skin, and does the job inside the skin. Yeah, like I said, it's an ester, and um, it's still a lot of research is being done about these uh, retinol esters. So. They perform the job, but we're still trying to see, you know, how effective they really are. It's still under a lot of research, but it does have 0.5% red acid retinol as well as 1% retinol, which if you're a retinol starter, 1% might be too hard for you because retinol does go from 0.01 up to 1%. So 1% is like it's really like the highest level of retinol and it might be too irritating for your skin. I advise if you want to start with retinol, start really small and then work your way up, especially if you have sensitive or sensitized skin. Moving on to the ordinary, they also have that 1% retinol. They also have different various types of retinol, the grand active, just numerous types of retinol. Just start really small, like I said, for retinol and then work your way up. And then the cereal, let me just say this about the cereal. I notice a lot of their products, they'll be like, hyaluronic acid is in this product. And then you look at their ingredient list and it's sodium hyaluronate. It's not even hyaluronic acid. And there's a difference and we're going to get to that. I don't want to say they're a scam, but they kind of are, you know, I kind of was not happy about that. It's kind of annoying seeing that a lot throughout their formulas. But anyway, so they have two retinols. I'm going to talk about the one I think is pretty popular. They have the retinol that's combined with uh, Bacuccio. And Bacuccio is a new ingredient. It's a plain derived ingredient. It works similar to retinol. It's less aggressive on the skin. It's a lot more milder on the skin. And it's combined together at a 2.5% percentage. The problem is we don't know how much retinol is in there. They also have retinol palmitate, which doesn't really do anything in the skin. Retinol palmitate doesn't even get absorbed in the skin. So really all they have is retinol and this Bacuccio, which Bacuccio is great. I haven't tried it before, but I've heard like amazing things about it just from like researching. Um, so it's really up to you. But if I was to choose one product, I'll probably start with the Ordinary just because they have a broad range of options. That way you kind of gauge your skin and see how your skin reacts to it before you make a final decision. Moving on to hyaluronic acid. So hyaluronic acid, Naturium just came out with a new hyaluronic acid. And I was formulating the other day, we're doing this huge batches at my job right now and I've been playing with a lot of formulas. And so there's a difference in hyaluronic acid. So when a product says hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid, it should say in the formula, it should actually say hyaluronic acid. That's the one with the most water carrying capacity. It goes from sodium PCA to sodium hyaluronate to hyaluronic acid. Sodium hyaluronate is right there in the middle. And although it is water loving, it's a great humectant as well as the others, but it's not as water carrying. Actually, hyaluronic acid in lab comes in a powder form, so we have to dissolve it to get you know, all those benefits from it. So yeah, very important to look at your ingredient list and make sure it says hyaluronic acid, not sodium hyaluronate, if that's what you're looking for. Inky List is the only one out of the three that actually has sodium hyaluronate and hyaluronic acid. So immediately I would say definitely spend your money at, with the Inky List because they know what they're doing over there. They're on it. I was intimidated a little bit. I was like, dang, Inky List, like they're... They know what they're doing out there. Yeah, so they have both hyaluronic acid and sodium hyaluronate, so you already know your skin is about to be moisturized, plump like a baby's butt. Oh, and one more thing, they also have that root radish from it that decreases redness, so already I'm just, yes. Inculus is hands down the winner in this category. Moving on to the Ordinary. Ordinary just has that sodium hyaluronate. So again, that's why it's important to know your ingredient list because it's going to be trying to get your money. Learn now. They only have sodium hyaluronate in their hyaluronic acid. Materium, of course, just has sodium hyaluronate, which I wasn't surprised by. Anyways, so that's it. That's it for today's video. I don't want to keep you guys here too long. Which brand is my favorite so far from everything that we've talked about? Definitely the Inky List is killing it. They they know what they're doing. Like I said, it's not as cheap as the Ordinary, but just, you know, for a little bit more money, you get great product. This is hard for me to say as an Ordinary lover, but after my research, I really, really was convinced that they're they're really, really trying to make their mark in the market. So, and I'm, 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 I'm here for it. Speaking of here for it, Fenty Beauty, skin or fancy skin is about to be out i cannot wait to get my hands on it i'm sure you guys all can't wait to get your hands on it but yeah anyways i digress thank you guys so much for watching if you like the video definitely give this video a thumbs up comment below what your favorite brand is what brand are you loving right now what was your favorite brand out of the three materium you gotta go i'm just kidding, just kidding. all right you guys i'm out don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in part two